Another issue I've addressed in the past was uh, the housing and the social housing. Currently, right now, we're in a, in a housing situation where um, we are given mortgages to pay for housing. Um, this was established, I'm not quite sure how many years ago, between 15, maybe 18 years ago. Um, it's a system where people are paying mortgages for their houses. Prior to that system, uh, we had social housing, where when you were picked for a house, um, you would only pay a certain amount of money, perhaps contribution for the uh, construction of the house, and then the house was yours. So I know I can, I can speak from fact that in 1986, when I received a house, I contributed $2,500 for the construction of that house, but uh, once that's paid and the house was built, it was mine free and clear. Now we're in a system of mortgages, which I believe last mortgages last about 15 years, and the payment on mortgages is anywhere from 350 to $400, I do believe. And um, that system, in my opinion, is not working. And it's not only my opinion, you look at the, um, the housing crisis and the deficit that's uh, incurred by the LMG for housing, and it's definitely a system that is not working. Uh, part of my um, platform, if you will, or part of my plan is that uh, if something is not working, why do we keep doing it, okay? Why are we, why are we continuing to give mortgages um, in a system that's not working? Um, I believe we're not alone at fault, as the Lishulish Mi'kmaq government, in having this housing crisis um, not work. Uh, the Department of Indian Affairs is, uh, acts as a fiduciary government to us. What does that mean? They're a fiduciary. Um, they're fiduciary obligated to give us the best possible decisions. They're overseeing us, and, and their decisions are supposed to be in the best possible interests of us as First Nations people. I believe they did not act in the best possible interest of First Nations of our Listigush First Nations when they offered us mortgages. Because nowhere else in North America do they offer people on social assistance mortgages. They don't offer that. They don't offer mortgages to people with no economy. We have no economy here. We have no means to pay our mortgages. So why did they accept to put us in a system of failure? Why are we paying uh, for mortgages? Well, well, everyone has to pay for mortgages, but I'm saying why did they allow us to get involved in this trap without establishing an economy and without taking uh, into consideration that the majority of our people are on social assistance. And again, uh, that's, you wouldn't see that anywhere. You wouldn't go into uh, the states or any, any city in, in Canada or any other community in Canada and go walk into a bank and say, okay, I, I make $570 a month, can you mortgage me a house? You wouldn't see that. So we're not alone in that decision. Uh, so I think the federal government has to step up and help us solve this problem, and they have to do it quickly. And we have to look at other alternatives as to mortgages for houses. I know that we still receive funding for social housing, which means we still receive funding for free housing. Where does that funding go? It's been going to um, build Section 95 houses or apartment buildings. Uh, for our people to live in for a minimal cost. Okay, but the, the point is we still receive dollars for social housing. So my plan is, and I do have a plan, my plan is not to, my plan is not to plan, I really do have a plan. My plan is to um, work on the housing issues, okay, and try to get the best of both worlds. Those people who can afford a mortgage can go through uh, mortgaging programs and perhaps get their house a little quicker, those people who cannot or are on social assistance perhaps need a different form of housing um, that can accommodate them. Like I said, social issue is uh, social housing um, is still an issue. Okay, um, another uh, topic that you'll see on uh, my turtle is uh, Micmac sovereignty. And again, uh, I believe we have to, um, uh, for those, <laughs> sorry. Uh, for those walking in, uh, we're recording, so if you can go behind the camera, thanks, that's okay. Um, for our Mi'kmaq sovereignty, um, we have to start communicating uh, better with the government. I find, uh, to date, our, our rights, or not our rights, but our privileges 
uh, and the obligations of the federal government are being cut. Everything's being cut. Education's being cut. Uh, Health care is being cut. Prescriptions are being cut. And it seems as a people, as a Listigush Mi'kmaq First Nations, we're sitting back and we're doing nothing. We're just saying, okay, well, that's okay. Well, they cut one more service. Well, that's okay. Well, they're not paying that medication. Well, it makes sense. They're, uh, that's okay. The way they explain it makes sense. And this is okay and that's okay. Nobody is actually standing up and saying, well, hey, wait a minute. Part of being part of the Indian Act is that you're supposed to be making decisions that are in the best interest of our people. And it's not happening. But nobody is targeting that. Yes, it's true we do not have uh, treaty rights. But the privileges we have stem from the treaty rights. They stem from um, the lands that were unlawfully taken from us. You know, we take this, we'll give you this. And now, because that is not uh, uh, set in stone, they're pilfering it away. By pilfering, I mean they're taking it slowly by slowly by slowly. They're taking, a, taking away our privileges uh, from us. Okay, so um, I believe I have great communication skills. I have good negotiation skills and great communication skills that is necessary when dealing with uh, the provincial and federal governments. Okay, I have the, um, the educational background. Um, right now I'm months away from getting a PhD. I'll have a doctorate in leadership and curriculum and instruction come February of uh, 20. Um, 13, so I'm months away from uh, having a doctorate degree. So I'm at uh, the same level as they are when you go to Ottawa, per perhaps sometimes even higher uh, with my communication skills and ability.